What up everybody, it's your boy Sean here from Burrons Braces and tonight we got another video. All right, we got a special order out the gate with five bracelets, man. We got Craig in Texas, man. Salute Craig, he's trying to rise to that lieutenant status as soon as possible, all right? So he's ordered um, OD Green with brass 40 cal cases. It's the last, but I have ordered more OD Green multicam and I got another color that I'll show y'all soon, so stay tuned for that, all right? so. Brass 40 on the OD. C green, brass nine, great color, all right, great color. I can't say the other name for it because <laughs> it's copyright, but C green, Liberty. Liberty on brass nine, you know that American flag, old Liberty, can't go wrong with that. And some ACU Digi Cam Paracord, eight. Army Combat Uniform, Brass 40. All right, so we're gonna get started with that tonight. Man, Craig, we appreciate you joining us here in the Burr Army. You are a legend. You know what I'm saying? You are a legend. So let's get right here into it. Starting with this OD with these Brass 40s. So how's everybody been, man? How y'all been? How have y'all been? Y'all really needed to order some more cord. I'm happy I did because look, <laughs> that's the last bit of OD green I got left. I can't make a bracelet with that. I can make a ring. Nope, can't even make a ring. Well, I probably could for like, my baby and something like that. I might just keep this and do something special with that later on down the road. But we got that and we get this um, good old Liberty, man. Good old Liberty. How's everybody been? How'd y'all week? The week's coming to, well, the week's over for y'all. I still got one more day, you know, so I work six days a week, but it'd be, it'd be nice to not have to, you feel me? But <laughs> we gotta make sure those bills get paid, man. Bills gotta be paid. What's been going on recently, these last couple of days in the world? Uh, well, forget, let's talk about in just our vicinity, man. Like um, I told y'all to be on the lookout for that um, new setup in the background. It's coming soon, man. I don't know if y'all can't see it, but I got, my, I got my third monitor here and I got a fourth one coming. Um, it should be in tomorrow actually, which I'm over the moon about. That's gonna be super fun. Yeah, you know I mean, I can't wait to get my sim racing going like for real, for real. You know, what I mean, so yeah, it's gonna, you know, everybody get them hobbies, you gotta get them hobbies going. Man, I'm too old, no more, no more basketball unless I hit the power ball and I can get one like built into my house where I reside at, which would be the ultimate goal. But is that gonna happen? Maybe, you know what I mean? No Powerball is tomorrow as well, uh, Saturday. So 1.9 billion is up to right now. Imagine that, dude. Like, uh, man, let's discuss something real quick. This is what I, I know what I wanna talk about tonight, man. And y'all let me know in the comments below. Whenever y'all see this video, man, whether y'all see it go viral tonight, five years from now, whatever, I still wanna have that conversation if I'm still among the living, all right? You know what I mean? You never know, tomorrow's never promised. So let's make the best of the day. Um, I like to use round numbers because uh, I didn't do very good in math in school because my teacher was a 23 year old U of L graduate fresh out and he didn't care. He was, I was, he said, I would give everybody C's as long as y'all just attempt the work. All right. Just attempt it. Show up. Don't be loud. You know, it is what it is. Cool teacher, man. I, f I forget his name, man. I hope you doing well in the world, my man. You know what I mean? All these years, like 20 some years later, probably even longer than that. So wherever you are in this world, man, I, I hope everything's going good for you. But, um, so yeah, so the whole time I was just, I was installing ROMs. If y'all know what ROMs is, ROMs and emulators. I was installed on his computer. You know what I mean? Cause you know, you had a, a classroom, teacher had their own computer, we had them classroom computers or like that. So I was over installing like ROMs and emulators on the computer playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you know. That old, that old good Fusion emulator, I used to love it. I was over playing Street to Rage 2, you know, in class, you know what I mean? Just clapping people, people didn't know how to, Street Fighter, everything like that, he didn't, he didn't care, you know what I mean? We was quiet, I, I'm gonna say I was in the bad class, but I was in the bad class, I, I was in the bad class, man. Behavior, the behavioral, be, I can't even say that word, behavioral development. All right. I didn't care for school, man. I was just like, whatever. Y'all just bad, you know what I'm kid, ADHD, couldn't focus for a long period of time. I always had to be in something, doing something. So, you know, man, I miss that class, man. All my homies, man, from, man, it's crazy how time go. We just think about 
you know, the past dog. So I mean, like past them dudes, we became real good friends throughout the school school years and as life went on from middle school and to high school and stuff like that. And then we all go our separate ways. You know what I mean? We catch up in life. I ain't gonna lie. I've seen, I'm all over the place right now. A lot of people I went to school with, you'd be surprised, man. I seen them when I worked Metro Corrections. All right, when I worked Metro here, man, a lot of them came across that jail booking floor, boy. And some of the craziest things too. Like you would think, I mean, from the popular chicks and guys to the sports jocks, like, Look, everybody came across, man, and I seen everybody's charges. <laughs> all right, that's why I say all them, all them cute, cute girls who you know what I'm saying, money, money, money. You think had the bag, man? Y'all ain't there for shoplifting. <laughs> that under 300, all that kind of stuff. But what I wanted to discuss, man, because I'm all over the place right now. I'm gonna save that story for another day because we're talking about Powerball right now. It's at 1.9 billion right now. Me, I, I told myself that's too much money for just one person. Some people are more, some people are more like selfish with certain stuff, and, and I mean, you can, whatever, you know, it's your life, do what you like. But I don't need one. I like to use round numbers. I don't need 1.9, almost two billion dollars. I, I'm cool with that. I ain't gonna say I wouldn't. I'm not. I couldn't spend it and utilize it because I could easily. You know what I mean? But realistically, I don't let money run me as it is, and and I don't want for a lot of stuff. I'm just a car guy. I buy, I give me a nice couple of dope houses in a couple of different states, so I have somewhere to go and not be stagnant in just one place. And cars, like I'm gonna have more in cars than how my, my house is gonna be worth. Real, real talk, it's just me. But the pop, I told myself, if I, let's say I got the two, let's see, I, I hit, I got the two billion after taxes. Let's say they tax it, cause they're gonna tax it crazy anyways. We know this. Let's say round number, I walk away, they tax it and take one billion from me. Now I have one billion. The population here in Kentucky is roughly 800,000 people. So I told myself, and I ran this across all my friends and my buddies and everybody like that. I was like, you know what? I would, if I hit, because of course, everybody like, I move away, yeah, I move. I have, like I said, a couple houses everywhere, but still, I got family and friends who's not going, and I always want to see them, you know what I mean? Spend time with them, whatever. So I know they're going to still stay here. So I make sure I'm, I come around when necessary. But I would do whatever it is I got to do with the government or whoever can, the treasurer or whatever. And I want to give a thousand dollar stimulus base, like a stimulus check. I remember stimmies to all the residents and Louisville, Kentucky. All right. So that is a thousand to everybody. So it's 800 million, 800 million to give every resident in Louisville a stimulus. All right. A thousand dollars. I still have $200 million left over. Come on, man. I don't need 200 million. So, but I'm gonna keep that 200, but that 200 million, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take care of family and friends. And like, yeah, let's say real list guys at 200 million, my family and friends, I can give away a hundred million. I still got a hundred million dollars and still an able-bodied man. You feel me? So come on, man. Like I would, I would never go broke. I never say never, but I would do my damnedest never to be broke because I wouldn't be doing nothing. Like so I got, I would get my my dreams and achievements accomplished. You know what I'm saying, even if I was want to be like a digital nomad, just travel the world for the rest of my life and stay in every country for like two weeks or a month, I would. But I would more than likely start my friends of firearms business. You know what I'm saying? Chamber check would be a full fledged thing. We would be the CarMax of gun shirts, gun apparel. I would start a range. I would, I, it was, it'd be whatever. But I'm just saying, $800 million. I give everybody in the state of, or in the county, Jefferson County, the city of Louisville, Kentucky, a thousand dollars. And my buddy brought up thing. He was like, why would you do that? I'm like, because what I see is, and maybe I'm just giving too many people the benefit of the doubt, you can't please everybody. But if I give everybody a thousand dollars, Stimmy, I think I should be safe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I should be able, I ain't said I want a key to the city or nothing like that, but I shouldn't, cause you know, a lot of people make a lot of money rappers, influencers, whatever it can be, you know, they get in trouble in their own city because, you know, people get jealous and stuff like that. And eventually they start getting put in positions where they either lose their life 
or they get their lives thrown away because they had to make a decision that was you know, not beneficial. So I'm like, if I'm known as the guy, like, bro, I gave you trying to rob me? I gave your moms a thousand, your mom, your granny, your auntie, your kids, you a thousand dollars, man, your family. Me out of my money to put back into the Louisville because I'm a die hard Louisvillian. You feel me? But I know it's a it's far fetched. But to me and how my brain rationalized stuff, I would see like I should be I should be cool. Now I'm not saying that I'm cool in Kentucky. <laughs> you feel me? I may not be cool in the in the whole entire state. I'm talking about just in Louisville. Not Lexington, not Owensboro, not Morfleboro, not Austin, not Ashland, nothing like that. But in Louisville, Kentucky, as long as I don't leave Louisville, I should be smooth. All right, because now we're talking about the whole entire state of Kentucky, and the population is a little bit higher than what I would have. But for Louisville, 800,000, 8 million, for everybody get a thousand, 800 million. Come on, man. Come on, man. I should you. You should you should give me I can I should be able to drive around her in a in a a Bugatti Chiron. I always kept a hard time pronouncing it. Bugatti Chiron. You feel me? 3.5 million dollar car in a Pagani Wira. You know what I mean? 2.5 million. Ferrari La Ferrari. 1.8 million. Porsche 918. 2.1 million. McLaren P1, 1 million. I should be able to ride around here with my plates SGFL and get a pass no matter what. Don't I should be y'all let me over in traffic. All that. I shouldn't need security. No, I should be able to walk around downtown Main Street, 4th Street Live, wherever I want to go, like Bill Gates freely and not be disturbed. But you can be that guy this, this is the bad thing about humans you can be that dude you can do that for people and guess what they would do still say they still say it's not enough you didn't do enough you only did that one time or you could have gave us more all you know people are never they're never satisfied so that's the only thing where in the back of my head i'm like why even do it i mean there's gonna be some that's gonna be appreciative and i guess you do it for them but at the same time, it's always gonna be, and you always never focus on the haters. You know what I mean, all everybody always do that thing where you get five thousand good comments, you get one bad comment, you focus on the bad comment, focus on the good. You feel me? But in the same stance, it's like you can do all that, and somebody will still be like, they gonna take that money for sure. You feel me? They are gonna take that money, but somebody's always gonna be like, uh, he could have did more, or I say enough, or he could have did, uh, or I deserve more. Uh, anything like that, you know, it's never you can't please everybody, so that's the only thing where I'm like, I can do it, but and I can have that thought in my head, like, I, I should be cool, I should be cool. Everybody, everybody know me, and I'm, I'm pretty, it's probably gonna be overwhelmingly positive. People gonna like probably be happy, you know, thank you, you know, I'm just a humble person, anyways, as is in life, so it, it'll mean a lot to me, you know, what I mean, but in the same stance, can't please everybody, man, you're gonna have them jerks. Them lanes, them won't, them um, ain't doing nothing with their life. Feel like you deserve, oh, they deserve everything. Hate, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I'll still do it though, but just imagine, dog. I'm like, you got two, I got 200 million left over still, dog. I thought I help out everybody. I'm like, I'm talking about everybody that I know, few and far between. I'm the kind, I pull up in traffic, random car, have like a, I could have went to the, you know what I mean, the Chevy dealer, bought a brand new 20, 24, Silverado, Tahoe, GMC, Denali, anything, man. And be like, go to my traffic, you want this? Bam, you can have it. You know, so I mean, you have it, it's good, it's paid for, it's yours. You know what I mean, that, them giveaways you be seeing on Instagram with the car giveaways, all that kind of stuff on like 8080 and like Red Line Society, all that kind of stuff. That'd be me. Be doing this out of the city and stuff like that, but people still try you. People still, like, you still got a certain point in time, watch somebody either try to rob you. You know what I mean? They won't shoot your cop in traffic. They don't try to press you, anything like that. And I'm, I'm don't press me, man, because I'm, I'm dumb as is. You know what I mean? And I'm reckless with certain stuff, but I'm big on respect. And I'm a, I'll for my respect. You know what I mean? We on YouTube, so I have, but for, for respect, I know it's childish, but like that. But come on, man, don't play with me. I'm looking out for the city. We're gonna have SGFL day. It'll be a Sean day, man. March 3rd, my birthday will be Sean day, but. 
Let's go and get this. Craig, man, we in here, man. We, we got, I appreciate you, Craig, man. Like, for real. Humbly, you in the Bear Army, man. We getting these ACUs all tucked in proper light. My hands are slippery, too, so I'm, I'm for sure gonna need to uh, give me a little better grip because my hands are slippery. There we go. All nice. That's how you want it, man. Nice and snug. Ain't going nowhere. You feel me? Ain't going nowhere. But, but yeah, man, y'all let me know in the comments. What, what would y'all do? What would I got homies. <laughs> I got homies. They like, hell no. <laughs> uh, bleep them. All right? That's what they talking about, man. They're like, I got money. I'm gone. Plus, this is another, like, while, while we still on the topic, this is another thing. The, I understand that people want to be that way too, because you could. You have every right to be. I mean, you don't owe nobody nothing. You don't owe nobody a damn thing. But also, I feel because you know everybody's out here scamming. I mean, I didn't say everybody, but you always got to watch. I want you don't want to stand out either. You know what I mean, because eventually everybody runs out of whatever, and eventually they won't. They gonna get back to the get back. And if you look like an easy lick, or you like somebody who got it, they gonna come for it, no matter who you are. You want me out in Kentucky? Now we got a nice little scene here in Kentucky. I think my downfall will probably be the car stuff. All right, we got a nice little car scene here in Louisville. You know what I mean? Um, it's hidden, so we don't get like a. I'm gonna say nice. It's not really a nice car scene. We got people who got nice cars. It's just nowhere to take them really to like show off. We have very few car and coffee events stuff like that because you know where are we gonna go. But the ones that we do have when they come out, it's everything here from Benador SVJs. Uh, SF 90s on the scene, 765 LTs, Cullinan's 650s, everything. We got a car scene, you know what I mean? But I feel you gotta not stand out either. And I know I would. So you wanna go somewhere where you blend in. Like you would wanna go to me to like a Miami or something like that. Or if I'm gonna say Miami, just Florida in general. Because you like, oh, you got 200 million. You would want like a financial advisor who knows money, who his portfolio is bigger than what you're bringing. Because you, I'll be thinking, if you bring in the big one, who are they gonna skim the money from? Yours, you feel me? You ain't gonna notice it if you don't keep hold of it. But, so I would get a financial advisor who has portfolios of billionaires. Man, he like, you ain't worried about your little 100 million. Yeah, I mean, if I, if I want to take from somebody, I take from some of these billionaires who ain't gonna notice. The other hundred million ain't gonna don't tip the scale for me. I want that. I don't want to be the biggest one in his portfolio because then I feel like you be the target. So, you want to go somewhere where you can be low, all right? Like people don't really like you don't stand out as much like a store thing, like riding around in a McLaren or a Bugatti here in Louisville. You gonna be that? You gonna stand out? All right? They're gonna be like, know who it is. So no matter where you at, you can't hide. If you got a little sneaky link, you know what I'm saying? You got somebody you trying to just be low with. You just want to go on a little date night to little Ruth Chris, a uh, little Jay Alexander, something like that, and take out, you know what I'm saying, the little nice thing, you're going to stand out. But you go to Florida and you got a Bugatti. It's 5, 10, 20 other people who got that too and more. You feel me? So it's like you're not really gonna people gonna take pictures of this car that people like cars. So you're gonna have pictures taken like that, but you're not gonna be to me how I register stuff. You're not gonna be an easy target. Alright. There's a lot of people out there with that. You don't stand out. People people don't know what's your car. Like you you're gonna be like the, the Nissan Altima of the car scene. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna blend right in in a Florida. You're gonna blend right in in the Cali. You're gonna blend right in in a, a Vegas or something like that. So that's that's how my brain rationalizes stuff, man. But we have the we got the final stretches here, man. We have the final stretches, man. And we here, we done, Craig, man. I appreciate you, Craig. Yeah. Craig from Texas, all right. Craig from Texas. Od Green, Brass Forty. C Green, Brass 9. Liberty, Brass 9. Two, ACU, if I can grab my hand, so it's Liberty. ACU, Digicams, Brass 40. All right. Welcome to the Burr Army, man. Look at this, look at this. Great, great start to the collection, man. I want to get a good shot of these all together. All right. I'm going to have to hold them like that. 
can you hold them right all right fantastic start to the collection craig all right so from from kentucky coming all the way out to you down south to texas all right wear your bracelets with pride man i humbly appreciate you joining the bear army man uh if you need anything got any problems make sure you reach out to me email of course burrons at gmail.com um if you also want to join the bear army burrons humbly appreciate anybody who wants to stop in if you want a firearm shirt d chamber check clothing.com still taking submissions for people if you got guns and stuff like that that you want on shirts um we take we accept it all all right from wheel guns shotguns rifles pistols muzzle loaders black powder everything all right we're taking them all because we want to be the car max of gun shops uh gun shirts all right so make sure you do it safely uh i'm probably gonna put some instructions up on the site when i change it of how 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 need it just damn bam straight up all right how do you need to do it man just make sure it's safe download the guns make sure there's no rounds there's not no live round no live ammo in there uh, nothing like that check and double check triple check all right then i need you to just take a picture bam straight down as vertically as you can get if you can stand it up great uh don't worry about the backgrounds i'll take care of that get rid of that just nice quality if it can be detailed hey take care of the rest man all right humbly appreciate it. i'm trying to get you everybody who submits shirt who else make guns i'm gonna try to get them a shirt of it too as well you know eventually they get there right now it just won't be cost effective but um i will not forget the people who do submit and i will get you together in due course all right so as always man until the next time and it will be soon it is your boy sean from burns bracing i'm signing out